Today, uh, my, my topic is um, solid state batteries. Um, I think, you know, so my research is, um, is focused on both the materials component, some of the novel fabrication techniques and materials, but also uh, the integration into the full life cycle and um, the recycling components, um, the kind of supply chain, where we get the materials, how we utilize them. Um, <clears throat> so really, I guess there's just a couple of points that I would like to uh, kind of focus in on today. Um, and number one is, you know, what solid state batteries are. Uh, I think I have heard much about uh, solid state batteries um, and why are they an improvement? Why do we believe they are the future for energy storage, uh, primarily in electric vehicles um, and or consumer electronics? Um, but then also what some of the benefits are and, you know, where are the current challenges um, as, as, we, as we sit right now. So primarily the difference between solid state batteries and your traditional lithium ion um, is in the electrolyte. Uh, currently, um, EVs and, and, and most consumer electronics, the electrolyte is a liquid lithium polymer. Uh, moving towards a solid state electrolyte um, reduces the risk of thermal runaway, fires, uh, explosions, which we're seeing more and more as uh, electric vehicles become more and more ubiquitous. We are now seeing kind of limitations at places where electric vehicles can park and what we can do, what some of the limitations are there. So the um, it's much more thermally stable. They are mechanically uh, and electrically stable as well. Um, in addition, they have higher energy density capabilities, ionic conductivity is higher. Um, so then the question is, if everyone always asks, is if they are safer and they are better, why aren't they out? Why aren't, why aren't we seeing them everywhere? Uh, right now, they, um, they are more expensive to make. Uh, the manufacturing is a bit more complex. Uh, the solid state electrodes and electrolytes, the, the interaction there, are generally uh, needed to be in a more environmentally controlled uh, circumstance. So we, we need to overcome some of those. Now we are seeing uh, the next generation of manufacturing, advanced manufacturing, where we are incorporating some of these um, you know, concepts to be able to mass manufacture, do some roll-to-roll -roll manufacturing for the solid state batteries. And I think we are starting to see companies come out for um, consumer electronics as well as I think Ford and Panasonic are now promising 2025, 2026 deployment at large scale of solid state batteries. Um, from that, I think, is kind of the, the end result and some of the other concepts that we've been working on is what are we gonna do with this mass influx of batteries as the electric vehicles become more and more uh, widespread? Um, not only that, but with these new materials and new batteries, new components, um, there are going to be the need for uh, new recycling, um, new reuse techniques. So how do we kind of reintroduce those back into the supply chain? <clears throat> In addition, that is gonna be a primary cost driver. If we can begin to reintroduce some of those materials back into the supply chain, we can begin to reduce the cost of the solid state batteries and make them you know, more ubiquitous into uh, the electric vehicles and others. Um, so, you know, we have kind of two aspects of this work. As I said, one is on the materials and kind of chemistry, material science, and the other is on the recycling. We do, you know, system modeling approach. Uh, my colleague led over there, Dr. Paula Gomez, leads the uh, systems engineering approach for the recycling. Uh, we've worked with a number of um, kind of state and uh, in local industry in the recycling. Ascend Elements is a you know, recycling plant here, um, as well as some state and federal institutes to try to figure out how we can incorporate uh, new technologies into the recycling where the cost uh, kind of the pain points are for them right now. 